Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and this video is the third part of my series about the On One software, the new Perfect Photo Suite 6. And on this video I'd like to show you a fast and easy way how to make your image pop to give it a little bit more of a dramatic style to it. Often uh, I have an image out of the raw converter which is okay in color tones and contrast and stuff like that but after a while or the day after my raw processing I like to have a little bit of uh, dramatic to it maybe like here in the sky it's a thunderstorm coming into this landscape for me the colors are okay I have good contrast but I want to have a little bit more of a dramatic look to the clouds in the sky and this is very easy to do with the new perfect photo suite from on one software you only start the whole suite or your perfect layers and then you can go into the perfect effects and here we can use the effect options and a preset called tone enhancer and there's no need to go around this huge panel if you're new to the suite and not knowing what all this means so it's very easy to only go into the effects here to the options and choose something that can be good to you and this tone enhancer is a very powerful tool you already have a layer copy so you can reduce the string or afterwards you're back in the layers you can change the opposite opacity and here in the tone enhancer you have some small options I can increase the contrast a little bit maybe push the shadows a little bit more to the darker side uh, excuse me open up the shadows and with the black slider you can give the blacks a little bit more of a punch something like that I don't want to open the shadows here for this image you can protect the highlights a little bit and here this is the slider you need to change is the local contrast is the small contrast stuff going on in this image and I raise it up for this video so that you can see with the full 100% to it and back to zero and you can see what you can do for me for this video and the compressing to it to the internet um, I think 60 is okay for the video tutorial I like to go up with the clarity just a little bit protects a little bit more of the highlights yeah, and uh, this is it you have the dramatic you also have um, a curve here you can change the whole composite channel or you can go into the channels like for example here to the blue channel and give a little bit more of a yellow touch to it if you don't like the cold blue tone that is there in the in the image or if you want a little bit more bluish touch I like to go down just the hair down in the yellows yeah, and um, these are some settings that can be very helpful you can uh, take a look on the before and the after or as I mentioned before 
you can go down with the strength or you leave it at 100, say apply, go back to your layers and even here you have the chance to take a look on the before and after and you can go down with the opacity here or if you don't want to push the colors a lot you can change something here but give it more of a contrast to push the colors you can go in and darken the tones only so you have a lot of opportunities with these panels here but I leave it as it is and then you can export it as a PSD with these layers to use it after a few days or you can go in and save it as a TIFF or a JPEG or you resize it to an image size that's usable for you, for your website, something like that. Yeah, you see this is a very easy and fast way to work with this new photo suite without need to an, another photo processing program like Photoshop, iPhoto or something like that. You have everything directly into your photo suite. You can go in and give a dramatic look. You can masking out the areas here. It's a very fast and easy way to work with to change the look of your image. Yeah, this was it for the third part here. Thanks for watching. This was Martin. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.